Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Rhapsody of realities is that daily devotional that prepares you for the day and also prepares the day for you. Now today's study by Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome for Friday the 12th of February 2021 is Persisting in Prayer. And today's scripture has been taken from the book of James chapter 5 verse 16 which reads, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The Amplified Classic Version of our theme verse places a premium on persistent prayer. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. The word continued is a clear indication that there must be some persistence. You don't just mutter a few words and say the issue is done and dusted. You keep pushing until you have the note of victory in your spirit. Hallelujah. Let's take a cue from the master. On a certain occasion, he took his three closest disciples, Peter, James and John with him to a place called Gethsemane to pray. Then Matthew chapter 26 verse 39 tells us, And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Hallelujah. Luke by the Spirit reveals and being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And we study this in the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 44. Jesus was distraught, and he prayed with much intensity. This was no casual two-minute prayer. Recall that he chastised his disciples for their weakness, an inability to keep watch, pray with him for an hour in Matthew chapter 26 verse 40. The Lord persisted because he understood what was at stake. What he was praying about was beyond himself. He was about to endure separation from his father. It was about the salvation of generations, past, present and future. Praise be to God. He was looking at eternity for all those who had gone by and those who were living at the time and those who would ever come. So he prayed and persisted in prayer. Praise the Lord. This is what is required of us today. The stakes are much higher than ever. There's a fight for the souls of men and we must agonize in prayer for their salvation. We must keep praying and interceding until the last soul that must be won is reached and brought into the kingdom before the rapture of the church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So now it's time for prayer and I invite all of you to please close your eyes, lift up your holy hands and pray after me. Dear Father, thank you for helping me build a strong and prevailing prayer life through the Holy Spirit. Even now, I pray for a great and mighty hall of souls into the kingdom. Your glory covers the earth today and the souls of the unconverted are impacted with the light of your gospel turning them from darkness to light and glorious liberty of the sons of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much and God bless you.